This is the 2020 Math King Roo, levels 9, 10, problem number 23. There are some squares and triangles on the table. Some of them are blue and the rest are red. Some of these figures are large and the rest are small. We know that 1, if the figure is large, it's a square, and 2, if the figure is blue, it's a triangle. Which of the statements must be true? A. All red figures are squares. B. All squares are large. C. All small figures are blue. D. All triangles are blue. Or E. All blue figures are small. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we'll be doing the solution. So let's start by taking a look at the first statement. If the figure is large, it's a square. So what does this mean? It means that triangles cannot be large, which in turn means that all triangles must be small. And again, this is true because the problem tells us that figures are either large or they're small. Those are the only two options. So if triangles cannot be large, all triangles must be small. Now let's look at the second statement. If the figure is blue, it's a triangle. So what does that mean? It means that all blue figures must be triangles. So if we take the two statements, one and two, together, we know that since all triangles must be small and all blue figures must be triangles, all blue figures must be small. This is answer choice E. So we know E is the right answer, but now let's go through all the other choices and see why they're not true. So let's start with A. We have that all red figures are squares. Well, this isn't necessarily true, because if we look at number at um, the second statement, we have that if the figure is blue, it's a triangle. But keep in mind that this if, this if statement is true in that direction. We do not know that all triangles are blue. We could have red triangles. We just know that if it's blue, it's a triangle. So because it's, it's possible to have a red triangle, none of the statements say you can't do that. A cannot be correct. Now let's look at B. All squares are large. Now for this one, we need to look at the first statement. We know that if it's large, it's a square. But again, we need to keep in mind what direction the if statement's going in. Because we know that if it's large, it's a square, that does not mean that if it's a square, it must be large. We don't know if the reverse is true. So because we don't know that, answer choice B is not necessarily true. So it's the wrong answer. Now let's look at C. All small figures are blue. Again, this is the reverse of our correct answer of all blue, blue figures are small. But like I said, just because you know it's true in one direction, that does not mean it's true in the other direction. So C is not necessarily true and must be the wrong answer. Finally, we have D. All triangles are blue. Again, this references the second statement. But like I said earlier, the if statement is true in the direction it's written in. If it's blue, it's a triangle. That does not mean that if it's a triangle, it must be blue. We could have red triangles. We don't know, but the question does not say that all triangles must be blue. So answer choice D is not correct. And again, E is our correct answer. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.